Ooh, what's up guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Desk Render, and today we have a match against Marlene, a very, very good Poketuber and a very, very nice person overall, and I've been following her for actually some time, I think roughly one year, but we got like recent contact like two months back, and uh, it's really fun to get a chance to challenge her into a battle, and uh, straight off the bat, she wanted that joke, are you NUH team? And I might have said yes, but brought a much tougher team than I actually realized. So she's bringing a, you know, a mixed team with, you know, free RU and I think that's free NU. I myself is like, I think I have five RU in my team and one NU. So I'm definitely bringing a lot of tougher team than she does. And, uh, yeah, I felt really bad about it from the get go. And, uh, but it will turn out at uh, my, it might be a misjudge <laughs> to actually have that thought process. So anyway, let's go through her team. We got Steely, Electros, Jellison, the Shiftry, Zyta, and uh, Ferret. And straight off the bat, I did expect the Ferret, uh, because the other post seems like no lead, and if she got a lead, then probably Steelix Rhyper is very safe for me to bring, and it's a Pokemon that I'm gonna bring in straight off the bat, because there's a reason for me not to. And after that, we got Meloetta with Assault Vest, we got um, my Jeros, the Pidgeot, we got the Molga, which is my NG poke, and you know, the physical Molga, which always brings a smile to my face. Uh, Assault Vest, the Hitmonchan, and a Spectra Golgi. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. nothing, you know, conventional or, you know, regional about it. This is straight off the bat, you know, a very, very hard hitting NU team or RU team. And uh, I'm gonna do everything in my power to. Uh, Overpower my opponent to see if that even works. So, with that in mind, guys, let's go! And uh, just like I said there, she's gonna lead off with the ferret, and there's no reason for me to go for an EQ right now, because she has a Pokemon with Levitate, so I'm just gonna go for Rock Blast, hoping that she's gonna bring the Electivire, but you know, I'm or Electros, but I'm, I am fine with whatever she brings. She'll go for U turn, and. Uh, that damage is not impressive, and first is you know it's a great lead to deal with folks, but this was definitely not the strongest moment. So she go for the Nifoon, the Yellowsent, and she is very lucky here because I only get I think that's two hit with my Rock Blast, so the Nifoon will survive. And uh, well, the issue is that this is still a Yellowsent. A four times effective Surf or Skull is nothing I can take, but my Melwet I can definitely deal with that and. Uh, Straight off the bat, I'm just gonna go for a charge beam, you know, with Serene Grey, charge beam is actually very, very good. It's a great way of boost yourself up and then try to retaliate. Uh, I'm actually fully investing in special defense and at least beat to HP and stuff like that, so I'm not really fast, so I'm not uh, sweeper based, I'm more like a tank and, you know, wall myself up and then retaliate. So, Psy Shock, obviously, is not enough, but she actually went for a substitute. And with that damage, it shows me that, uh, or rather, she can't itself a substitute. So Hyper Voice will finish her off. And I was a little scared going for Hyper Voice because I know she had pokes that could resist that. So anyway, Furt is back in here, and uh, I know a U-turn is coming, and uh, yeah, I don't want to take that in case it, it will hurt sincerely. So I'm just going to bring my poor Honey Pie, which actually lose his or her her <laughs> choice band, and now it's somewhat limited. It really is. She's gonna bring the magic wand, the Steelix, and uh, I'm just gonna go for acrobatics, obviously doing nothing, and after this I'm just gonna go for knockoff, you know, it, it's really nothing I can do, um, so I'm just gonna go for as much damage as possible and then die, hoping that she's not a curse set. Uh, I can probably deal with that, but it still is something that would have really doesn't made me, to be honest. So anyway, I actually go for U-turn, seeing some purpose of having this Pokemon alive, I guess, and uh, I, I have actually no idea what I was thinking. But I'm gonna bring Apollo, and I hope you guys know exactly what, where the reference is coming, and uh, Apollo here, Creed is the other followed name, is gonna be roared out to my beautiful and very, very terrifying Desultroya, the Rhyperior, and I'm just gonna go for an EQ, she'll bring you Shift 3, a very, very good play, but... I am very banded, and uh, I get a crit here, which will annihilate this ship tree. And this is really unfortunate for her, because that would be a golden opportunity for, each, for, each, for her to retaliate on me. Uh, so Nightfoon is back in here, and you know, goddammit, really? 
So another Scald or Surf is common, and I'm just going to fodder off my Honey Pie because reasons. It, it really can't do anything. It has been very, very overpowered by a lot of folks here, and uh, Honey Pie will just go to my bag. You know, one one big champ there really were so really impressive. So anyway, I'm gonna take this opportunity to try to go for an ominous win, getting some boost, but she will actually bring the first. And I was like, no, don't don't beat this guy. Don't don't do this. So obviously that was the correct play, obviously because she is immune and Ominous Win, you know, it's nothing you predict because it kind of sucks, if not sucks too much. That uh, was definitely a good play, it definitely were. So anyway, I'm gonna expect this thing to be Scarfed, considering that she actually decided to switch that one in. And she's gonna go for the double edge, Rhyperio can deal with that actually flawlessly. And um, yeah, Desert Troya, the Rhyperio is doing things, it's so hard to deal with. So Steel is coming in, I have no reason not to go for an EQ because there is nothing resisting that, but I am not able to take it out to Steel the first turn, but I get two chances to do that because I am able to have speed and um, yeah, I feel really bad taking out the Steelix because it's such a beautiful, marvelous creature. So I'm gonna knife in his back in here and um, yeah, same position, like I had, I need to get out. And I'm gonna bring in my Drogology because I really, really want to use this thing before, you know, anything happens. And of course I can take the surf uh, ish But my biggest issue that is that I know Scyther is still in here. And um, I decided Thunderbolt might be my best play. And just do as much damage as possible. She'll go for the early ace, which is actually doing some fair damage with Technician Boost. It really did, you know, so much damage that I was actually, you know, considering to switch out here because... Well... I have no reason not to, to be honest. And Nifun back again, and it will pack the Ice Beam, and uh, yeah, I definitely should have switched out. I was like feeling that, that you know, I might not be able to pull through, but I decided to, whatever. And um, Jerry is here, is here, and I'm just gonna go for her again, trying to kill this thing. I am not able to. It actually took that, and that is just terrifying. And. Um, He'll break through, go for the Ice Beam, and that, of course, will kill the Pidgeot. So, Jealous Scent is actually genuinely scary after this. It took a freaking Hurricane with max attack. That is just incredible. So, anyway, I'm just gonna finish that one off with a Charge Beam, and, uh... Throughout this situation, I really decided to, um... There is no reason for me to stay in against the Furt, because the Furt will annihilate me. So, I decided to switch out to Apollo Creed. You know, the boxers of boxer, the rock, Rocky's antagonist. And, um, yeah, she'll have a trick. And uh, she'll get my soul fist and I'll get her scarf. Which means that this drain punch will be the fastest drain punch since Xenon's pursuit. So, yeah, I'm still not able to outspeed. Yeah, I know it sucks. But I do really see able to drain punch and I'm able to finish off this game really, really nicely. And like I said there guys, you know, Marlene is one of those Pocktubers I do appreciate a lot. And uh, I really felt bad from the get-go because I actually brought a much tougher team than I want to admit. And as a result really, I I overpowered her. And she had a rough time going back against me. And of course with me doing some good prediction in the beginning really, really had me go in. And uh, it was just no coming back from that, sadly. So yeah guys, um... Definitely, definitely a fun battle, and um, I'm just gonna link Marlene down below. She's one of those Pocketubers, you know, like I said from the beginning, that I've been following for some time, and easily since I started Pocketubers on my own in December. I never have a real contact with her, but having it now really, really um, has helped me out. She's a very, very nice person, and even her boyfriend, Ominous Acid, one of those persons that, you know, they're generally good people, and you should definitely give them the support. They're funny, they use a lot of weird stuff, which make for great content and you know a lot of <laughs> a lot of weird moments it's it's actually relatively fun and i do encourage you guys to check that out and i felt really bad like i said about this battle because i definitely was bringing a tougher team than i thought i would and uh, the battle really was showcasing that that my power was just so much uh, or too much for her to uh, work around and you know i fulfilled the same way that she does <laughs> i really were so um yeah next time will definitely be a more even match um Hopefully I'll even try to tune down my aggressiveness and um, 
try to actually make an even game because I know she's a good battler. I just brought too tough of a team to really, to really open up the game. To be honest. So with that, my guys, um, um, I only have two more battles to upload before actually, or one more battle before I have uh, 200 uploaded battles. So first of all, um, the next one is coming up is above is against just me while or Jack, you know, one of my good old friends from the old days, and you know, he's still around, one of the top battlers I know, and uh, after that we're gonna hit 200, and I feel that something shady is going on, hmm, I don't know, feels a little bit shady, but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, sky's the limit, so have a good day, and take care, bye.